There is a lot of debate on whether budget is good, bad this year. But let's focus on what stocks can give us the multi-bagger return. So we are focusing today on the cement stocks, which stocks could have a better opportunity as per the budget and which stocks we can find as a multi-baggers. Please watch the video till end. This video has been created for educational purpose. There is no recommendation for any stocks. One major highlight in this budget that is PM Gati Shakti update will be driven by seven engines like roads, railways, airports, ports, mass transport, waterways and logistics infrastructure. So one major highlight is that 100 PM Gati Shakti cargo terminals development and four multimodal logistics park. In this budget, Ministry of Road Transport and Highways got almost 50% more allocation than previous years. Also, Pradhan Mantri Awas Yojana, Pradhan Mantri Gram Sadak Yojana, Smart Cities also got better allocation than previous years. You can take a look at the allocations in the ministry wise list here. So, if we talk about this Ministry of Road Transport and Highways, they have massive close to 2 lakh crores allocation in this budget. So where these funds can help in the growth story of India. Due to this higher capex allocation, many sectors will get benefited from this budget like the infrastructure, logistics, building materials, cements and commodities. In this video, we will talk about cement stocks, but subsequently there will be other videos on other sectors. So please subscribe and press bell icon. We have divided the cement stocks into four categories like more than 10,000 crores, then more than 5,000 crores, more than 1,000 crores and less than 1,000 crores. So we have close to 40 companies to compare. However, we will talk about few companies which will get benefited from this budget allocation. If you are new to the channel, request you to please subscribe, like, share with your friends. Don't forget to press the bell icon so you will get notifications for our new and new exciting financial videos. When this recording is done, cement stock sector P is showing close to 38.4. So we have compared few major stocks which we feel like will get major advantage from this budget allocation. So these will be like Ultratech Cement, Shri Cement, Ambuja Cement, ACC, Dalmia Bharat, JK Cement and Ramco Cements. So let's talk about their individual P's. So they are there in front of your screen. So we can see like Ambuja Cement, ACC and Ramco Cements are looking attractive in terms of their TTM P. If you don't know what is P and how this can impact on the stock pricing, please mention in the comment box. We will have a separate video for this one. But that's not all. When we compare return on capital equity and return on equity, higher value is the better. So in this list, we can see like Shri Cement, Ambuja Cements and JK Cements are looking better than their peers. In any stocks comparison, debt free stock is mostly preferred. However, cement sector is capital driven. So most of these companies definitely will have a debt on this. So in this category, if we see Two companies, Ambuja Cement and SEC, are having zero or close to zero, and other companies are like having larger market capitalization, but same time they have some debt. So minimum debt to equity ratio is most preferred. When we talk about the promoter FII and DII investments ratio, we talk about here all these stocks are having good proportion. So except Ramco Cements, we can see like Ultra Tech, Sri Cement, Ambuja, they are maintaining good healthy shareholding pattern. When we compare their growth in terms of 3 year revenue, net profit and ROE growth, so we can see here two companies, Ultra Tech Cement and JK Cement are looking better than their peers. However, Ambuja Cement, SEC, though their revenue growth is not significant in three years. However, they have shown good growth in terms of net profit and ROE. You can take a look at the other stocks as well. There are some factors that should be considered before we pick the cement stocks like the 
business coverage let's see one company is operating only certain part of india and there is some regional issue due to weather or any other challenge so their profitability might get impacted immediately however if the company is covering on large areas this impact can be minimized also sales growth is the very important profitability should be there and utilization of plants also another major factor debt to equity ratio is should be considered before you invest operating margin is important thing because let's see some of the companies could be older in the market however their unplanned maintenance might eat their operating margin recent improvements also you need to keep a watch before you invest let's take a look at the one year chart of ultratech which is like largest market capitalization in india so one year it has approximately given 20% return in 5 years it has almost doubled the investment amount and in maximum chart you can see like 1000% returns in so many years however the chart is not straight forward there are many ups downs and consolidation phases in this stock another this is a big stocks in terms of price but this has given negative returns in last one year that is a shri cement and here you can see last 5 years it has just managed to give over 50% return and maximum chart is also there in front of you so it's not like consistently up so there is always consolidation phases when we talk about ambuja cement this has maximum business coverage in south india but let's see the chart so we can see here one year 40% five year close to 60% and maximum chart also in front of you now let's talk about the acc stock so one year 30 plus percent then five year 50 plus percent and maximum chart also in front of you you can take a look at the chart of this any companies always you will have ups and downs so it is always suggested not to invest at one go in this company i check the mood of the market and then take a call let's talk about dalmia bharat so one year close to 56% so very good return we can talk five years it has almost doubled the amount from the investor we don't have a maximum chart here because company is not older than five years so you can see like still in this years this company has managed to give good returns to the investors but still you can see there are many ups and downs when we see the jk cements one year chart close to 50% returns then 5 years close to 300% returns you can see and now maximum chart you can see like many consolidation phases and then a rapid growth now let's talk about the ramco cements one year not much it is flat then 5 years just managed to give 27% and maximum you can see very good graph but many ups and downs don't forget to mention in the comment box which stocks you like in the cement category and if you are planning to invest in cement category definitely first you should have a portfolio based on your risk appetite and your financial goal accordingly you can decide how much portion you should buy in these stocks then accordingly buy hold or accumulate strategy if you see that market or these stocks are falling you can take advantage to do a required top up mutual funds could be another options there are so many videos already available on our channel yanveda has many such videos on investment mutual fund stocks ipo insurance tax so please don't forget to subscribe like share with your friends press bell icon so you will get notifications If you have any questions doubts or want any specific video or coverage please do mention in the comment box definitely we will try to come up with new video till then thanks for watching happy investing dhanyawad